Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Citroen Picasso. Then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Citroen Grand C4 Picasso 1.6 Blue HDI Flare. It's a five door, it's 1560cc, 2017 on a 17 plate, has done 25,695 miles, two registered owners, fuel economy, urban 62.8, extra urban 74.3, combined is 70.6, which is uh, obviously really fantastic for a, a, a seven seater people carrier. It has a top speed of 117 miles per hour, and that's from 118 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. It's a really well thought out car. It's in a great color combination as well. It's uh, bright blue metallic with the silver A pillars, which are then swept round into the, the uh, roof carrier system and then back round the back windows. Lovely car, lo lovely looking car too. The chrome badge sweeps right round the daylight running lights. We've got uh, gloss black and uh, diamond cut alloy wheels, multi-spoke alloys. This, uh, the big window behind the A pillar here. So uh, very, very tiny blind spot. You can see everywhere. Great visibility all round. The front passenger gets all the luxuries. So here on the passenger seat, not only do we have a massage function, but we've also got this button here, which brings out the leg rest there, right the way forward. Um, and then, of course, you can recline uh, you can recline your seat, have a good kit. And you know how on when you fall asleep on a, an aeroplane uh, and you, you like keel over sideways, these headrests have uh, little uh, <laughs> sides on. So you, you, can, you can nod off with uh, impunity. You know you're not going to end up in the driver's lap or, or anywhere. Really, really comfortable car. Um, the massage seat, uh, probably my equal second favourite uh, accessory. Um, perhaps heated windscreen first, heated steering wheel second, and massage seats equal second. So uh, really, really lovely car. So rear privacy glass, the roof bar carrier system, again, it's instead of looking like on most cars, it's just being plonked on the roof as an afterthought. Citroen have kind of integrated it into the design. So the same color as the, this kind of back flash and the front A pillar, looks really good. Power open boot, the six and seven seats there, which fold completely flat, give you a great load area. Um, fantastic for if, if you've got a dog or anything. And then we've got the roller blind at the back here. Whoops. Which pulls out like so. Rear parking sensor at the bottom. And here we go. Power closed boots as well, or tailgate. Rear wash wipe, and where we got it somewhere. Ah, there it is. There's your reversing camera. So the back seats are easy enough to get into. Um, let me see. There's the, the, the plenty of leg room. Obviously, better better for children because my my knees are like nearly touching my chin and my head's touching the roof. But uh, still, ideal ideal for a big family. Um, it's also nice lighting area with it, with a, the big panoramic sunroof in in the vehicle. I feel, I feel like I've been to the gym after getting out of that back seat. Gee whiz. So in the back here, plenty of room again. You've got to knock the headrest up for an adult, um, otherwise it's, it sticks in the middle of your back. 
you've got a uh, picnic table there even got your own fan control on this right hand side let me see yeah and same on the left the inertia reel belt for the third person comes out of the roof here again nice nice and light there's a blind which comes over that's controlled electrically from the, the front there rear privacy glass you've got coat hangers here and also i suppose you've got this which is a another great idea you've got privacy glass there and you've also got this blind Perhaps air conditioning equal first. <laughs> so the service history. Here we go. 3rd of the 10th, 2018 at 10,666 at just Citroen. And then the 3rd of the 10th, 2019, 20,242 again just Citroen. The vehicle's done 25,695 miles at the moment. So um, plenty of time before it needs servicing. Now let's just uh, get my seat belt on here. Let's see. Here we go. Height and re reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel. And we've also got power folding door mirrors. It, it has got a really, really fantastic specification. First thing I'm going to do is put the massage seats on. And uh, I came back from Scotland in a, in a car with massage seats and it, it was snowing it took me ages to get back and i had the massage seats on all the way probably for about five or six hours i think and they come on for about six minutes and then go off four minutes come back on but the next day i could hardly walk and you you wouldn't believe how much it moves your, your spine when you're driving and uh, anyway it's, it, it, it is a good thing so we've got electronic handbrake there and uh, if we just set off i'll just should I just move the door mirrors there we go there we go now when I go to move here oh god just as I start doing me three-point turn a big van comes so there we've got reversing camera and uh, I don't know whether you'd notice, but probably, I think the, uh, I wasn't actually using them. The mirrors dip as well, so you can see the curb. Make sure you don't scuff your gloss black and diamond cut alloys, which I was struggling to say before. Really comfortable to drive. And it's quite funny, this car, because you've got your rear view mirror here, and then you've got another little mirror here that you can keep a, an eye on the brats in the back. And when this car came in, that seat wouldn't go forward. And I had to take all this center console out to get to this rail here. And when I actually got to it and dismantled it, I found two pens and a, a little roll of sweets and a lollipop stuck up the, uh, the rail. So, uh, She'd obviously not been, or she or he or some non-specific gender person had not been keeping their eye on the uh, the kids there. Anyhow, it, it drives fantastic. And as I say, it's really comfortable, really well finished off. You've got the sat-nav at the top there, digital speedo. Actually, there is something I forgot to do, which... Um, I'll, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in fairly early. Uh, anyway, so right, back to this. You've got two displays. That's a 12-inch display, which is just about the, the biggest I, I think I've seen. And uh, you've got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. And if one sat-nav screen isn't enough, you've got a, you've got a second one. These are both pointing different directions at the moment, which is a bit disconcerting, really, because uh, I, I like it to be pointing the way I'm going. Uh, it's 
bit of OCD, I would imagine. <laughs> to be honest, I couldn't be friends with anybody who, who had the sat-nav that was pointing in a different direction to the way they're going. I'm going to go back the way we came now. So we've got front and rear parking sensors as well. What I really like about this car, well there's, there's many things I like about this car, being a seven seater it's really handy but also the seats go absolutely flat so you've got plenty of room for uh, for cargo, load space or a pet and then you've got this, you've got the panoramic sunroof and you've got the panoramic windscreen as well, it comes right virtually, I, I sit quite a way back so it comes virtually as far back as I go and you, you can you can slide them backwards and forwards. Then you've got this, the pan roof with the electric blind, multifunction steering wheel here and uh, I'll just show you its party trick in a, in a short while. The I can tell you the massage seats are doing a fantastic job just in the small of your back and you've also got lumbar support there. There was, uh, there's actually, well, I couldn't find any instructions to, because uh, I wasn't sure there. There's kind of a, a plus and minus, and I wasn't sure whether you kept your, your finger on it and, until it became more powerful, or it was just a two position. going left here so I'm stuck behind this chap who's also going left and is in no particular hurry uh, and just to, when I was photographing I, I go around the outside photograph car the car first go around then with a the video camera outside but then when I do the actual video um, where you can't really just stop and cut it there's been so many people come out today it's unbelievable cars going past and where are, where are video it's a dead end there's plenty of dog walkers go up there but but normally you know they're not up and down every two seconds so it's not too bad but it was just a nightmare today it really was so as I say this, this car yeah he's not only is he not a big fan of going fast he, he doesn't really believe in indicators either. He's going to be one of those who stops at the speed bump. No, no, he's gone faster over the speed bump than he was doing in the 50 mile an hour limit. I don't know. Oh, I can't be bothered waiting. Okay, what we're going to try and do is uh, show you uh, the, the Citroen's party trick. So here we go. Right, so if we click this button here, parking button then you've got parallel parking so th so that's enter parallel parking exit parallel parking two slow bars and enter bay parking so we're gonna have enter bay parking then the dashboard change and it says select side using indicator so if we indicate left and then we start moving forward because it's the worst place to go because there's a, a lamp post. So park impossible, go forward, into reverse and release the wheel. So here we go. <laughs> and 
and I have to say I do not trust this, the, these systems, I really don't. Fortunately we can see uh, what's going on there, I think we're just about to go into that Skoda. Oh, I, I, I don't trust that, I'm sorry. Go forward, into reverse again. Jazz hands. So we just have to watch that staple at the back that uh, catches many a, a normal person without reversing sensors out. Yeah, that's that's close enough for me. So that's it. So the uh, and it reverses in, so it's perpendicular and parallel parking. Okay, we've knocked that off anyway, and uh, I'll now take you for a ride. So it's got sat nav, Bluetooth hands free, and also, hey Siri. Play music. Okay, I'll just turn this up, go to audio, and then sources, Bluetooth. So there you go, you've got Bluetooth hands free as well, Bluetooth audio streaming. Power steering's nice and light. People waiting for an invitation to turn left. driver it uh, it handles really well for a for a people carrier, I have to say, and as I was saying before, it's a, it's a very, very good looking car. Citroëns are so stylish these days. I mean, they've always been ahead of the time with suspension and so on. Sarge Heat still going away there. for time today uh, we've got a couple of people um, one hopefully coming up from Brighton and uh, another gentleman coming up from London to pick cars up as one of my uh, YouTube viewers pointed out I don't know whether you're technically allowed to do that. I know, I know we're allowed to operate a click and collect policy and they've both left deposits on the vehicle and as far as we're aware they, they, 
they're just coming to pick the car up and uh, I can tell you we're uh, just trying to keep everything as clean as possible in fact my my hands my hands are red raw <laughs> I keep using disinfectant so on wiping the handles down if anybody looks at cars wiping the handles and the steering wheels down and everything Lance is fumigating them with uh, this antibacterial mist I think it's hydrogen peroxide or something that they use in hospitals and uh, all we can do is do our bit. So rear tailgate, that's power opening and power close as well. Six and seven seats, the, the third row, push forward or fold flat. We've got front central armrests here, space in the center console. electric windows and uh, electric dormers there nice finish this so this this big dash here big screen and then an even bigger one there and you've also got well remember let me just see if we click that you can then sort out um, parking sensors off and on why you'd want to knock them off I just don't know stop start I can understand that We'll knock that off straight away. Blind spot sensors. Ah, it's a good job I looked at that. I'll try and show you on the motorway. In the door mirrors, um, as the name would suggest, uh, the blind spot sensor. If anybody's coming up on your your outside and uh, the, the the car thinks it's just out of your view, it will illuminate the little uh, symbol in the corner, in the top right hand corner just to warn you not to pull out, otherwise you're going to get creamed. Great visibility all around. I really like this big window here. It gets the A-pillar further away from you, and uh, that, that, <laughs> that can mean a lot, certainly to a, a motorcyclist. The closer the A-pillar is to you, the, the more of your view it obscures. Please don't go my way. That's okay. Right, the, uh, the best bit of road here to test cars on it. Looks like the resurface in it, so. Very. <sighs> not going to plan today. But it's always a great test of the steering up this road. You've also got here, look, if you click the fan there, it brings up the screen for your heater controls, high and low. You fan the direction of the airflow. Your global central lock in here. If you pull this down, you can see there. USB in and I would imagine all plugs there I would imagine that's auxiliary cup holders there we have just at the back here I know from taking the centre console apart a 12 volt power socket it does a tremendous amount of miles to the gallon
That's my mate who always manages to phone when I'm out videoing a car. <laughs> or if I'm having a kit. <laughs> so six gear there. Uh, speed limit there and cruise control so cruise we'll switch cruise on switch cruise on and then set I'll set it to 72 I don't want that so down to 70 the cruise is working too The only thing is, with no rev counter. Nice and smooth and quiet. So they click the end there, personal navigation, oh, actually it says dials, so how do we... Dials. So if I, that's it, if I click the end in, we'll leave it to go to dials. See what happens there. Current information. So that must be your rev counter in the corner. That, right, OK, that makes a little bit more sense. Bearing in mind, I've never been out in one of these before. Uh, so we're doing just less than 2,000 revs. And uh, I'll, knock the, I'll knock the cruise off. So I'll knock the cruise off, just make sure... Actually, I'll go off here. I know that wasn't uh, a fantastic manoeuvre, but the, I, I would have gone on to the next junction if that lorry hadn't turned off and left me lots of room. So nice clear information display there, um, one of the best I think I've seen in any cars and at the bottom there this vehicle's got loads of fuel in it, it's, uh, it's showing me that the auto stop start is switched off. the uh, massage seats will stop on for an hour and then go off automatically Absolute idiot. Not only was he in the wrong lane, he's colour blind as well. We'll 
we'll just do this, see what else. So I'll navigate, so that's personal, we'll wait for personal to come back on, see what that uh, gives you. Pretty much nothing. Minimum just to speed up. It's also uh, keyless go, the, the car will start if you've just got your key in, the key in your pocket, but um, I'm not a big fan of keyless go and I, I far prefer to know where my key is and, and to have to put it in the car. You don't often see joggers smiling, do you? <laughs> There's a bit of luck, I'll uh, just have time to show you how to pair your mobile, uh, delete a mobile, stream audio, and set the sat nav. Although I, I've never done it in this car, so. Uh, Perhaps I won't have time. Blimey, could he take that corner any fast? What an idiot. Well, eventful. <laughs> <laughs> 